Say all right, so first and foremost, want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yoshai, Bashem, Kakadash. We say double and say, apostles and elders of the Messenger, well, the teachers are apostles and shoot, and we say salutations, so the Akram is pushing, would not shoot, and sincerity day in and day in and day out, and constantly in season and season, we say shallow one. You know, once again, going into our video here, and it's basically touching upon, you know what, just going back into this post here. Now, I did a video on this some days ago, touching upon the woman that, that literally, you know, nearly wiped out her, her whole family because of the app um the the eclipse right now when they go into the things that she believe um she was she was literally into witchcraft she was like a witch because she believed in this astrology on a high level right and so on but one of the things i want to touch upon today is how many other people Right, many, many, many other people have been following her or believe in the same thing that she's been doing, right? But we know when, when stuff sort of happen, right, and things sort of take place. Now they want to put, now they want to call upon the Lord, right? They, they believe in manifestations. They believe in the astrology, the, 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 the um, and the stars and all this other stuff. Will they believe in the stones, the, the? The bushes and all these things that 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 many other things that come with it again it's witchcraft you know they have the little they have the little idols you know the little um you know the little wood stuff that it is make to keep in the hand to chant to meditate in you know all these things that 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 they have but when pain and affliction come onto them no they want to give up these things and call upon the lord right now they want to switch and now, now they want to turn to the scriptures now they want to do this then you have some of them right they just literally want to believe in the lord and do these things right they, you, you can't serve the two they don't make a decision on who it, who it is you want to serve and even if you you think in your mind you could serve the two the lord already know you're not serving him right like all these things that that you all believe in like even this person here, this person in this comment mark, let's be clear. Every spiritual every spiritualist, every astrologer is not the same. We are not all on the brink of murder. So you can see it, it are many other people that believe in the same thing that she's doing or following the same thing that she's in. Right? Because what some of them don't understand is that doing these things, you you you're literally making a choice of who it is you're serving. We're not supposed to go and serve any other gods or go go on to any other gods. But you're going in, you're literally going into many, onto many, right? And then when things that happen, I notice these things that you're all in can't save you all now, you're going to turn back to the Lord. And that is what basically you want to touch upon. In the day of your affliction, the scriptures make it plain for you what it is to, to do. Let's see the book of Judges, chapter 10, and I'll read from verse 13. It say, Yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. And that is what they do. They want to serve other gods. Right? Even to this day, they're doing the same thing. Rather it be... They, rather it be... Because you see, astrology, these things go back to witchcraft. Right? And this is what you're all doing. And you know the, the law make it clear for you that you're not, you're not supposed to be no witch. Right? So you say, yet you have forsaken me and serve other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. And again, every single thing that these people that Jake's in and they believe in, it's always to do something with some other god, it's some other god. As I say, astrology, you hear them talking about manifestation. When they go into the whole concept of manifestation and how they do it today, it literally goes back to a belief. It, go, it goes back to a pagan god. Let me, let me see if I can get it here quick as I mention it. Let's see if I get it here quick. I remember I had an article on it. Um, let's see if I can just find it back here. It said that um, so the, uh, let's read you know something. It said the, the dangerous trend of manifesting and witchcraft on social media, and this is this is basically it here, right? It said manifesting your dreams is a dangerous trend sweeping through our schools and social media. Manifesting and certain intentions is witchcraft, right? But what what basically we want to go into? 
No, God, as I say, I mentioned before, it's all, we, we know it's witchcraft, right? But I wanted to get the belief. It basically had a name for it. It had a name they was calling it. Let me see if I can find like that. So what they were saying here is um is is Totsim, code of manifestation. So you can see these these you see as I said before, right? As I said before, um, right? As I said before, it goes back to something, and they literally be in all those things, right? And as you can see, this this post has obviously obviously this post has taking up a, a um a storm right taking up a storm because of she literally committed murder and so forth believing in which card that she believe in but just like these other people here you can see all of a sudden now they believe in the same thing now they want to call upon the lord now they want to say you know this that and that and so forth right oh look this push look 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 matter of fact let's go back to the scripture right judges 10 verse 13 they say yet you have forsaken me and serve other gods Wherefore, wherefore I will deliver you no more. It said, Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And that is just straight to the point. That is just straight to the point. The Lord saying, Go and cry unto the other gods which you have chosen, because that is what you all do. When it when you basically sorry, when you basically believe in, in these things like like man the, the being a wiccan, being a witchcraft, astrology manifestation these things is basically making a choice it's basically choosing a god other than the lord that is the lord that is you're supposed to be serving right and that is what you all continue to do um right so it's a um this one um Right, so so it say, go and cry unto the other gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation, because you're seen all all these all all of these people here now who used to follow her, they begin to see the things that happen, and now all of a sudden they want to post scriptures, they want to mention the Lord, they want to do this. No, go and cry unto the Lord. You was you, you go and cry unto the God, right? The gods you chose above the Lord. You understand? And the time that we get into, that is where it is. You feel this being a wiccan, you feel being a witch, you feel being in these things going to save you. You feel being a, oh, we, we just a Pisces and Virgo and all these things. You feel that going to save you. It's all to read all the cards and, and to read cards. You feel that going to save any time that we in? No, it's not. Right? So this person here, I've, I, I entertained some of her astrology posts in the past. Then she went dark. No matter of fact, she didn't went dark. Just being in it is 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 is, is already evil, right? It's a super weird, like a many conspiracy theorists. Please protect your minds, people. You don't need to be going down rabbit holes, reading things that will f f with your mind. You will eventually lose it. Matter of fact, this dealing with these things will obviously make you lose your mind, because when you listen to, to and you see again, the majority of these posts is from um Israelite women, right? I just show you how far gone they are. And what they really be into. Right? So it says, Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. It says, And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seem it good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee, this day. Right? So verse 14, as I say, As the Lord said, Go and cry unto the other, Go and cry unto the, unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Because everything that you're believing in or following today, as I said before, it go back to something. And in that day, when your pain and affliction come, make sure you make sure that thing that you, you believe in, that you put above the Lord, could save you, could protect you, could help you, right? So this this next person, part, oh hell, no, what the hell was I doing following you? You all, you, I see that that is the thing, 
right say they be blind leaders of the blind and both and and the blind see the blind shall lead the blind and both shall fall into fall into a ditch right shall fall into a ditch because one time again that's that's what so much people has been falling what so much people saying you now you seen them posting things about the lord and and this and that no right in that day that's coming up make sure you all could call upon the things you are serving to help you all right could deliver you from your from your afflictions Let me read this in Deuteronomy chapter 32. I go read from verse 37. It says, And he shall say, Where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. <laughs> so let, let that, it says, Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Again, the time I'm coming into, you've seen what, what taking place. You're going into we going into some critical times you feel you feel reading cards you feel being a witch you feel falling these kind of people going to save you no right it says verse 39 it says see now that i even i am he and there is no god with me i kill and i make alive I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. So all these astrology or believing, because again, when they go into this, like if you watch some of these posts that this woman be into with this astrology thing, they, they be reading this, the, 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 the sun and the thing, and, and this is, if you align with this sun and this yet, you know, this go save, this go help you and so forth. Hey, there's nothing can save you out of the hands of the Lord. Nothing. These things that you're believing, nothing. You see me with her, see me with her, you see, she's a perfect example of that, right? Judgment was set and it, and it, did, it did take place. No, for the rest of you all that believe that, any time I be coming to when this affliction arise, and, and you all believe in astrology, make sure you can call upon that <laughs> to, to save you, you know? See if a star from heaven could come down and, and tell you, hey, all who will save, or all, or all whatever it is you all, you all be into, right? Which again is just basically witchcraft. See that what the Lord see he go he go laugh when the fear come in, you understand? He go mock. You know? All of you all in this comment board talking about this is astrology and we following her and all these things. Make sure in that time those gods that you serve could save you. Right? So with that we give all praises and our glory to Yahweh, Bashemi or Shai, Bashem Kakadash. We sit down and say person and elders of great most and well teachers of person and shoot and we say salutations so they are coming to the pushing wood on truth and sincerely dean and the out. You know, constantly in season and season we say shalom.